Thank you so much for being with us in, on CCR TV once again. We are continuing our program on entrepreneurship. And the reason we are doing that is to make sure that more and more youngsters continue to think about business. Today, we are very privileged to have with us two very young people, Carlito and Cyrus Norona. They are brothers, and they have got two independent units, one in Panjim and one in Kandoli, under the banner called Caravella. So Caravella is the new uh, slogan of this uh, two young people. They have opened these cafes in Panjim and Kandoli. And they're going to tell us not only about the cafe, but more importantly, they're going to tell us their new venture within the cafe called Coffee Roasting and how it is done, etc., etc. So today, not only we are going to learn about business, we are going to learn a lot about coffee, how you roast it in Goa, how it is to be drunk in the various forms you get it in, and how it is to be enjoyed. So. Welcome to you, young people. Wonderful you. to see you all here. Nice of you to come. So we'll start with uh, the elder brother first, <laughs> Mr. Kalito Dorona. Kalito, you started uh, Caravella in Panjim. Uh, when did it happen and how, how is it going? Uh, so basically, we started in 2015. It's been uh, seven years now. And uh, the, we started the home, we had a homestay and a coffee shop. So the homestay we started a year earlier. And our main focus was actually not on the coffee shop. The coffee shop was an addition. The homestay was the priority. Okay, but, that's right. Yeah. But later on, the coffee shop started generating more revenue than the homestay. Okay. So that's when we started prioritizing that first. So now you prioritize the, the, the cafe rather than the homestay. Yes, that's wonderful. <laughs> I had the privilege of having breakfast in your, in your wonderful mm -hmm. restaurant. It's nice and cozy little place. <laughs> Tell me, what do you serve there and what do the customers prefer the most? Well, we have an all-day menu. So we have breakfast, uh, we have an all-day, like an English breakfast, which is available in pork and chicken. So that's one of the main best sellers, I would say. Right. Then we also have a cold coffee, which we make with our coffee. And that is uh, one of the fastest moving okay. beverages we have. And besides that, we have Goan dishes like uh, your shakuti, your vindal, your and we have Goan snacks like risoj, croquettes that are, uh, I mean, a hit with the local customers. And uh, the customers prefer to come in the morning because they are open from 8 o'clock onwards. So breakfast, brunch and lunch is uh, all uh, in one. Yeah, all in one. Okay. But we don't do that much of dinners because we close by 7.30. So unless you want an early dinner, then you can come. Otherwise, everything else is available. You want no, but suppose I want dinner at my home. Yeah. At nine o'clock in the night. Okay. Will you be able to, uh, to take care of that? No. Uh, not nine. No. <laughs> but we have another outlet which uh, my brother will be talking to you about. All so right. Okay. Fair enough. Okay. Can... Now, uh, you also opened an outlet in Kandoli. Yes, we did. So tell us the name. Tell us how it started. Why it started. How is it doing? Give us a little bit background. So we started on the 16th of December, which is was last, yes, year, uh, last few months back. Yes, okay. a few months back, and it's been it's been going good. It's around, it's gone. Uh, it's on the same name based on Panjim Caravella Cafe, and I ran it first with the help of my father. Okay, and it's been going good. So is it the same kind of menu you have, or everything is it something is different? No, everything is the same. Absolutely. The menu is the same. Every, all the items are the same. All right, wonderful. Okay, and uh, this is about your own professional life. Uh, which of you is a qualified catering expert, and which of you look after the finances? <laughs> so I've been trained in the hospitality sector. I've done a course in food production in the Goa College of Hospitality and Culinary Education in Siddhartha Goa. And my brother, on the other hand, he's done his bachelor's in cost accounting. So uh, so we get the best of both. I think that's a <laughs> wonderful idea, wonderful <laughs> idea, because each of you have got your own uh, specialities and okay. put your uh, skills together <laughs> and make it run. So are you now, uh, would you say you're a profitable unit, both the units? Or yeah. has COVID hit you badly? 
COVID has hit all businesses worldwide, ah. hospitality being one of the most. Right. So we have been on Swiggy and Zomato, which has helped us cope with this time. But we also do home deliveries in the nearby areas. Okay. So, so in uh, in Kandoli, there are a lot of people who who uh, call and ask for home delivery. There are well, most of our clients are tourists because Kandoli is a tourist destination after all. So, but th we have a few of our regular customers who call and ask, and we deliver it. Home. And how is the home delivery in Banjim? In Banjim, we've just started, so we are delivering in and around like Altin, Karanzale. There are few, but not many people are aware of it because we just started it. Earlier, we were just dependent on Swiggy and Zomato. Well, I'll tell you something, uh, uh, young people. If you like a good breakfast, please contact Caravella because it is really good. I have tasted it myself and I can authenticate that it is a fantastic <laughs> breakfast. You can get everything you know you I, I enjoyed for example the the dish that I selected was uh, chouris uh, with uh, with uh, uh, egg you know it was a kind of a mixed thing uh, what's the right word for it yeah, scrambled egg with goan sauces yeah that's right so that was really really good you know so think about it whenever you feel a little bit hungry and don't know what to do for breakfast today <laughs> Think of Kalito and uh, he will supply you a uh, very nice, good breakfast, okay? Now, um, normally young people uh, do not get into business because of money. And uh, many people don't know what is this EDC or what they call the CMRY scheme. CMRY is basically the Chief Minister's Rojgar Yogana scheme, where they give young people up to 20 lakhs to start a business and at a very, very normal interest, payable over seven years. Oh. So it become very profitable. Now, did you all approach uh, EDC or CMRY? Uh, no, I, actually we have not. You all, you all didn't approach. No. So that's, that's perfectly fine. It's just that I just wanted people to know, yeah. particularly young people to know that there is a scheme like this and it is at a very, very good rate yeah. of interest and payable over seven years up to 20 lakhs of rupees, you know. So that is uh, uh, the thing that uh, we want yet more and more young people to think about. Okay, let's go to staffing. You know, I've heard many, many stories uh, over the years that one of our big problems in Goa is to retain staff. What is your uh, take on that? So staffing is a issue faced by the whole hospitality sector. Including yourself. Correct. All right. <laughs> So we are thankful that we have a bunch of staff who have been with us for the past five or six years. And the main issue is when they come and they work for about one or two years and then they want to go back to their natives. So that is the biggest issue we face because then some of them don't return. So then you have to get in new staff and you have to train them all over again and it's a cycle basically. Uh, so, uh, what is your secret? How did you manage to give them for five to six years? <laughs> Just God's grace, I think, and you have to keep them happy. Uh, so, so you do that very well, obviously. <laughs> huh? All right, okay, okay. Now let's go on to the main uh, thing that uh, the Caravella is doing or uh, doing something new in Goa: coffee. Yeah. Kalito, tell us all about what are the first first and foremost. Let's begin at the beginning. What are the different types of coffee you actually serve in Caravella? Uh, so I'll just break it down to the yeah. basics. So there are two types of coffees. There's Arabica and there's Robusta. So if you compare the two, Arabica is uh, slightly milder and sweeter as compared to Robusta which is more harsh and it has a stronger caffeine content. So what we serve at our place is a, we have three types of Arabicas okay. and we have one blend which is a mix of Arabica and Robusta right. and one Robusta. And we roast the coffee beans ourselves at our roastery uh, and the coffee is called Latin Quarter. So to give you another, I mean to go down further, uh, if the coffee is classified as per the size of the bean. So this packet here that we have is called uh, Latin Quarter reg uh, Premium and it's a AAA Arabica. So AAA means that the bean is the most superior and it's the most biggest bean. After that, there's a double A, that is, we sell it as Latin Quarter Regular, 
which is uh, slightly smaller as compared to this and then there is the single A that is the smallest Arabica bean there is. There is also something called as pea berry which is uh, basically when the coffee bean is the seed inside the fruit. So when the seed does not split it's known as pea berry otherwise the seed splits into two and that's how you normally get your coffee beans. Yes. Yeah. So these beans we uh, import from Kurk. So they send us the raw beans and then we roast them at our roastery. So the, the roaster is a, a 5 kilo roaster and we can roast about 3.5 kilos at one time. All right. right. Yeah. So this, uh, this is the AAA variety yes. which you call uh, the Latin Quarter uh, AAA Arab Arabia. So uh, what, what, what is the price of this? Uh, this, this is particular coffee. Uh, it is 500 rupees for 250 grams. All right, okay. Yeah. And uh, very, very generally, uh, how many how many cups of coffee does 500 grams do? Uh, approximately. Uh, it's basically the rule of thumb is 18 grams to f to make one cup. Okay. So you can make quite. All right. Quite okay. a few. So you do that. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's pretty attractive package, I must say. <laughs> is this package done in Goa also? Yeah, it's uh, it's it was designed by a designer, and uh -huh. we pa we package it in, and we roast it and package it in Goa okay. itself. Yeah. Why Latin Quarter? So we are we are located in Fontaine, which okay. is known as the Latin Quarter of Goa. All right. So that's so you where maintain that yeah. uh, uh, traditional yeah. name. Okay. So there you have it, uh, uh, folks. Latin Quarter, made in Latin Quarter <laughs> by the Rona brothers. Okay, wonderful. Uh, I want to uh, touch a little bit more about this roaster machine or rooster mm -hmm. machine. What do you call yeah, it? It's a roaster. Rooster machine. Yeah. Okay. Tell us a little bit more about it because apparently it is the first time in Goa that there is a, such a machine. So, what is it all about and uh, what are the wonderful things about it? Uh, so, it's called a drum roaster basically. So, okay. it has a drum inside that keeps turning okay, right. and it's powered by a gas cylinder. So, you heat preheat it before roasting, how you preheat the oven before putting anything right, to cook yes. it. You preheat it to about around 150 degrees oh, right. and then based on what you want to roast uh, the type of beans that you have so this generally we would roast it at about 180 degrees right. so okay. up to 150 once it touches 180 you drop the beans inside and then it takes about 20 minutes for the whole roasting process so once it drops in the temperature drops down again because the beans are cold and then it keeps rising and the color keeps changing. So f the beans are actually green when they're raw. Then they turn pale yellow, yellow, then they turn brown, and finally dark brown. And that's the color that we, the, the depends on the type of color and roast. That so the have. bigger beans uh, take uh, approximately? Uh, it would be all the beans. All the beans, yeah. the same amount. It would be the, the same. The temperatures are different. The temperatures are different. All right. Yeah. So triple A ta uh, takes 180. 180. What does the triple uh, uh, double the, A do? The double A is 150. Lesser. Lesser. Okay. And the single A is more. That is 200 because right. that is a light roast. So you want to heat the the drum to a higher temperature so that right. you you remove it at a lower. You remove the coffee at lower temperature. Now this word Arabic and robusta. Yeah. Is it? Uh, a kind of an international thing, or is it uh, is it something that is? Uh, it is in India uh, no, no. It's international. Okay. Yeah, so, so Arabica means is something to do with the Arabia. It was yeah. It was in in where the coffee was first. I mean, discovered or it was had by oh. someone in, in okay. the Arabic region where the beans fell into. I'm not too sure about the story, right, okay. but that was somehow how it was. <laughs> so. Uh, the, the sale currently of uh, uh, Latin Quarter is mm. doing quite well. It is, yeah. Where yeah. is it sold at the moment? Uh, right now it's sold in all units of uh, Maxon Supercenter as well as uh, Delfino's. Oh, both at uh, yeah. Maxon as well as Delfino's. Yes, okay. yes, that's right. What about Kandoli? Kandoli, there is a Delfino? Yes, there is a Delfino. Oh, there is a Delfino. We also sell right, coffee okay. at our cafes. So, and Maxon's as well. Correct. Mm. So, you got ready customers <laughs> in both your locations. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay. Now, uh, you see, when uh, people go and ask for a cup of coffee, they normally say, uh, which one do you want? Uh, is it mocha? Is it latte? Is it espresso? Tell us, tell us a little bit more about what is this latte and espresso and mocha and what is it all about? Uh, so, uh, it's, they're all espresso-based drinks. So, what it means is 
you have to take an espresso shot and then you add milk or you add the mocha is coffee is chocolate so you add chocolate powder along with milk okay, okay. and it's a different uh, like uh, what i would say ratios of milk to steam so a cappuccino okay. would have foam whereas a latte would have more milk steamed milk in, in, as compared to a cappuccino so what about the quantities the quantity a uh, standard cappuccino would be around 200 ml uh, to 250 whereas a latte would be slightly more around 300 ml why is that why is that uh, it's because of the the latte is more diluted so there's more milk added so there's you get special cups so a cappuccino uh, cup is smaller as compared to a latte cup it's larger and uh, is there a major price difference between the four varieties uh it's just a, in our cafe it's just a 10 rupee difference between each. there's no difference no no there's 10 rupees it's oh, not that rupees much yeah, right. yeah. Okay. because a latte would be uh, more pricier than a cappuccino because the milk added is more okay. and uh, you know uh, i always uh, uh, when i go to this uh, places where you have this coffee they have a beautiful design on the top yeah how do you make that design that looks so nice uh, cyrus can explain okay come on expert they is done steaming the milk ah uh-huh. it's called latte art okay so there's a particular technique how you steam the milk right it's because the coffee machine has a wand which helps in steaming the milk so it's all based on steaming the milk no, but how do you get that particular design that is based on your hand movements you have to be trained it takes practice to get the design right because it uh, it's made with incorporating steam into the milk and then the milk uh, goes into the the espresso so it's all based on the hand movements tell me one thing how long did you take to learn that uh, trick it took me about almost a month to learn so why don't you give us training classes uh, the all of uh, <laughs> the people in goa uh when if, if you're around you the that? cafe if you're around the cafe when you stop by no 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 i don't mean that give us training in the sense <laughs> advertise that on this day from so and so time to so and so time you're going to learn to make design <laughs> okay. and charge for it okay no no yeah, what i mean seriously it's a good idea it yeah. is so nice to give somebody visiting you yeah. a cup of coffee with a little design yeah. on it <laughs> and uh, i would be very delighted if i could learn that technique and and say hey guys see i'm giving you a fantastic cup of coffee ah uh, what do you ever think about that <laughs> all right so now um, you have told us a lot about your roaster you told us about your uh, the various varieties of coffee the various uh, types you can drink it in i want to know more about what are your plans for the future what uh, young people like you you always have a dream what yeah. what is your dream what is your goal say 5 years from now what do you plan to do so in terms of the coffee i would like to supply all the cafes in goa that are dealing with coffee you have right. a coffee machine but have you got the capacity to deal uh, with the whole of goa we do we it you okay. just have to i mean if you roast every day uh-huh. and you increase the number of roasts you can right. because if someone buys about 1 kilo but then it depends on how much demand they have as well right, okay. but then we can we can okay. cope up to that that's not a problem and uh, what efforts are going in that direction to make it available in all the uh supermarkets and go what efforts are being made uh, we have tied up with a few distributors so we sell the coffee to them and then they distribute it to other right. other supermarkets so there is a good possibility that places like mapsa margaon yeah. vasco ponda they will soon have they this will, coffee yes. in their shops so we won't, i i can't tell you first and which supermarkets the that's distributors okay, supply but you have that plan yes that is okay. the plan Now you have got two outlets, one in yeah. Kandoli and one in Panjim. Panjim. Of yeah. What is the next outlet you want to open? Uh, we are looking at South Goa, somewhere down Kolwa, Benawali, because okay. we are from the south as well. So, but you need at... another brother then? No, no, no. <laughs> uh-huh. it's, uh, no, it's not. But right now we can leave Panjim as it is because it's it's on running on autopilot. Right, it's okay. been it's been there for six years, so we can focus on a new one. and in 5 years we plan to open another 5 different outlets around when goa when you say different meaning coffee outlets or caravella no, st- stroke carav- coffee yeah caravella stroke coffee all yeah. right wonderful okay <laughs> so clearly then uh, you definitely have a plan you want to achieve it with your profits yes, yes. no taking loans no. nothing of the kind <laughs> that's pretty pretty <laughs> ambitious i must say because uh, uh, when you Uh, invest in a machine like that 
and you then run it and you want to make sure that it works and it is kept well maintained, etc., mm. etc. This takes a lot of time and effort. Mm. It does, Isn't it? Yeah. So you are, you are quite confident that uh, you'll be able to handle it. Yeah, we will. Because if you look at the roaster itself, the whole setup, it would cost you around 10 lakhs to to get everything. I mean, you have your roaster, you have a grinder, you have a sealer. So all that itself would cost around 10 lakhs. That's a lot of money. Yeah. Plus, uh, plus the packaging, of course. Yes, yeah. yeah. All right. Now, uh, you are trained, as you said, in uh, ACE, in, uh, in uh, what used to be uh, Siddharth Goa. Yes. Is it still Siddharth Goa? Is it taken over by Taj? It has been taken over by Taj. So do they still have the college there? The college is there, but it is it's behind the hotel, so it's not located. It's it not is not part of the No, it's not part of that. Oh, I see. Okay, all right. But it is still there. It is. Okay. You are now a qualified chef. Yes. yes? Now, we hear of Vindalo, Shakuti, and all these wonderful dishes. Are you planning to create a new thing that has never happened in Goa, but yet gone? Trial and error is part of... So this tell process. us one particular experiment that you tried and it has worked well. We are still working on something like that, but as, as I said, we are still in trial and error, so we can't disclose anything as of now. <laughs> but once the product is ready, we will put it up on social media so everyone can come and have. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, Cyrus and uh, Kalito, I wish you well, I wish you progress, I wish you success. And uh, uh, I hope uh, uh, Latin Quarter uh, is not only in the quarter but in the whole of Goa yeah. so that uh, everybody can enjoy this coffee. Thank and I thank you once again. I wish you continued success. Thank you for having us. Thank you.